Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Now I was planning on actually this is actually this is episode 100 I just realized I was planning on having episode 100 being the start of the invasion of the United States but I honestly didn't like playing off screen that much it kind of it felt weird and oh my god did I, I never really noticed the border go how bad the border gore was it is pretty horrendous um the United United Kingdom has fallen which means that they're no longer the leader of the Allies. The United States is. Uh, and let's add a war goal. Nope, we're not going to try to puppet the United States. And we actually have a couple of their, their VPs. They should be at yeah, 100%. Uh, all of the Allied nations are now under the control, basically, of the United States, which means all these little bits and pieces that were left in India when the United Kingdom fell, uh, it's just under the United States control, which is why this is going on right here. Uh, I have control of a couple of these Japanese units, and I'm kind of using them to work my way up through Burma. Uh, although it looks like the Japanese are finally starting to make some progress, too. There we go. Oh, my God. My manpower situation, perfectly fine. Monthly gain of 155 manpower. It's pretty huge. And if I remember correctly, where did I leave my Marines off? Right here. And I think the ships should be... Oh, where's my fucking fleet? Nope, not them. Ah, here we go. There they are. Uh, we're gonna get the Marines, and we're gonna we're gonna do a little work here. We gotta get them back over to Europe, though. So, which means we gotta pick them up and ship them out. So we're gonna pick up all the Marines, load them up, and they're gonna stop over. Ooh. Am I miss I'm missing a marine division? Let's see, he got left where exactly? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's working his way over. Okay. Oh, but look at the speed at which he's moving, because there's no supplies here. Oh, that's horrendous. I eh, picked up a little bit. It looks like a little supplies went through that last day. Hmm. That's pretty horrendous. They would. How long would it take? August, eleven days. You know what? What we'll do is, we'll we'll, we'll move on without without that last marine division there. Uh, let's rebase back over here in France. Or you know what? Lisbon, rebase in Lisbon, uh, over here in Portugal because the Azores have got to go. Liners, liners, uh, and what we're gonna do is we have some. Submarines. I mean, do they have the range for this? Convoy rating. Uh, they do, so we're going to con have them convoy rating right over here. Have them convoy rating. Try to starve the Americans out a little bit. Let's see. Let's grab a uh, convoy raider. Let's grab our... Okay, it's going to make me do it the hard way. Definitely going to want to see if we can starve these Americans a little bit before we get over there. U-boat, uh, U-boat, U-boat. They'll work together. Convoy rating. All right. I'm kind of hoping my the other states will, help, will, will take care of this. Uh... I, I honestly don't feel like dicking around with all this shit in India over here. I have unlimited supplies of, you know, of, of my materials up here. The submarines. Finished up some sub-tech. Oh, I thought they were both in there. Where's the other one? Strategic. I thought it was in there. Or Special Forces Doctrine is what that was. Um... I thought it said. Well, we can uh, do air cavalry, tenacious uh, defense training, machine gun focused battalions, add all that stuff in for oh, special forces. Is special forces unit combined arms. Special for oh, you know what? Is that command? No. Where am I looking? There we go. The United States is acquiring, quote-unquote, all this territory. 
Honestly, I'm hoping the Japanese and the other guys will come in and, and take care of this, and I won't have to really dick around with it, as I don't feel like messing around with it too much. The game's kind of, you know, running itself down to an end, and I, I, I'd like it to... I, yeah, I want to do this huge invasion in the United States. I think that'll be super fun. We lost 5,000 men. Uh, those are Japanese troops over here. Uh, honestly, not concerned. Those are not actually my troops. Is it bad terrain? No, it's just lack of supplies. Insufficient fuel. Insufficient fuel in India. Well, that's not surprising. Actually, let's take a look at something. I got plenty of ships, so we're good. We're good here. I don't know why this one is not full, but we should fill it up. Bunch of heavy cruisers are finishing up. Yeah, the Azores are definitely going to fall. And I hope... See, I don't know what's going to happen here. They prob All these planes would probably make it out of there perfectly safely. There's two carriers there right now. And plenty of troops, including Eisenhower. Well, there's not exactly many troops there, but... Surprisingly, I'm seeing no actual... The convoy raids are... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, we're not doing any convoy raiding. There we go. Are they just dumping units into the Azores now? Seems like it. Well, all these guys seem to be leaving, which is bumming me out. I don't know why they're leaving. It doesn't like it's not like they have any objectives anywhere else to bother with. Oh, looks like the Japanese actually got their heads out of their butts about a couple things. Nice. Oh, I didn't even realize we had that set. Don't actually want them to do that. But I do want them to take all these islands. Alright, what's left down here? Japan. And let's, uh, let's do this as well. Japan. Japan. Have them take all these, all, all these VPs from Australia, hopefully. They can take care of it themselves. That would be preferable. And there's actually a lot for Australia here. Didn't actually think there'd be very many. And there's one right there. And New Zealand's right over here, so might as well have them try to hit New Zealand as well. Japan. And Japan. And now let's go to Diplomacy. Let's go to Australia, add war goal, acquire territory, Pacific military uh, core from Australia and New Zealand, add war goal, uh, nothing in there. All right. See, all the Pacific belongs to us. Nice. My ships are moving their way back over this way. Uh, I really do hope the convoy rating will help over here. I don't know if it will, but I hope so. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see. Merge those two together. That leaves these two. Merge them together. Destroyers and torpedo boats. Let's um, take those guys off. Now, do you have the range to get out here? No. The torpedo boats only have a range of 1,200 kilometers. Well, this one... You know what? Let's just do this. And uh, what kind of... Uh, 1942? It's relatively recent. We'll just leave him there. Got my military all set... Uh, all back over in Europe here. Tons and tons and tons of units just sitting around. Waiting. Oh, we're definitely going to do. We're definitely going to take the Azores first. 
a nice little jumping off point. I don't know if we have the range to get over to Newfoundland from there. We might have to do Iceland, Greenland. We have to, you know, island hop our way across. Or, you know what? This port right here is technically ours. We could dump units down into Brazil. It's not a half bad idea. Man, the infrastructure over here is so... How is the inf... Did Japan build up the infrastructure in this region? Look how good the infrastructure is in here. It's all green all over the place. They must have. Japan looks like they built did nothing but build infrastructure. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy high. I think the Japanese AI must have been doing a lot of infrastructure construction. And I'm hoping that, I mean, the Japanese, when I gave them war goals, they did go over and do things. Like, I, I can I can take care of this easily. It's just, I don't want to micro have to go through and micromanage everything. It looks like the Japanese have basically got it covered, though. I mean, these units are going to run out of supplies and be easy, pretty easy to overrun, I think. All right, now where is our primary navy? Just making itself through the Suez Canal. Super happy I own that. United Kingdom still exists and they still own stuff? Why don't we take care of that real quick? I mean, I, I, I thought they would cease to exist. All right, so let's... Now we can load them back up and we can do this. Take out Cyprus. I didn't even realize it still existed. I mean, I was hoping... Come on. We got all these units here. I don't know why they're not pushing. All they have to do is walk right over there and Burma surrenders. It's like they're hard-coded to have trouble in, in Burma. I, I would not actually be surprised if that was a thing. Enterprise has been lost. Nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you, when the United Kingdom was lost, about 30 pop-ups uh, hit telling me of British capital ships that had been sunk. So I'm assuming what happens is when the United Kingdom falls, they scuttle their fleet. Because pretty much every single... I got, I got an event from every single capital ship saying it had been lost. All right, we won that battle. So we'll take Cyprus. There we go. Now you just need to hang out right there for a moment. You guys will walk over here. A military hero has emerged, help with manpower. Uh, let's see here. No, what we're gonna do. I don't know if it'll let me do it from here, but oh, I can. Let's grab like. Do you think four of those is enough to hold a 720? Yeah, that should be enough to hold a marine division. Because we got this guy. We're gonna have him sit over here and wait for this guy who weighs 100. Yeah, 117. So you just uh, you'll wait for that last marine division, and then he'll rejoin the his friends later. I mean, I just took Cyprus because the Brits were there. Didn't really matter to me. I mean, this, this, this is some border gore. I mean, look at the world in general. Boom, 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 boom. My, my, the stuff I personally control is ridiculous. How's the convoy rating doing? Um, it's pretty meager. Pretty meager. Well, how do you switch your your zones to over here or over here maybe? What is this big yellow zone that it won't let me convoy raid it in? 
I do not know. I mean, they are building up their forces here. I have naval bombers sitting over here somewhere. Can they, do they have the range for that? Naval strike, they do. Let, let's see what happens if we send them over here. I mean, they should be relatively powerful. Port strike is what I meant to have them do. Oh! Intercepted. Yeah, there we go. Are they going to go all the way back? Yeah, okay. Apparently you can't change your mission like that. Alrighty, let's try that. Let's try a port strike again. And see if we if anything actually comes from it. Because they do have a significant amount of ships there. A couple BBs. A couple carriers. Yeah, look at this. Oh, and they're getting shot to shit. The sh USS Shangri-La. USS Franklin. Alright, yeah, that was a uh, pretty, pretty poor showing. Uh, we damaged a battleship and heavily damaged a carrier and a couple transports, it looks like. They just keep moving more units in here. Look at this shit. This is crazy. That is insane right there. Oh, if only my rockets had the range for that. What is the range on these guys? Does it say on here? I don't see it anywhere. Well, we can go to production queue. We can go to air wing. Flying rocket has a range. It's only 450. And will it show me how far it is from Lisbon to here? Yeah, that's out of range. That's out of range. That's not going to fly. I mean, they are definitely using the Azores as a staging ground. 117 fighter wings. 37 uh, twin-engine fighter wings. We're getting attacked by Nepalese infantry. What are we going to do, guys? Turn around and attack them. I mean, we can. Hopefully clear up some of the border gore. I don't know if these Japanese infantry divisions are actually capable of doing anything. What is that? The Japanese anti-aircraft? It says 10.5 centimeter Flak 39, so it's an imported German gun. But... Our control limit has happened to us. Oh, I bet that was for taking all of Cyprus. That seemed to be some sort of missile launcher. That is some crazy shit there. Alright. So control over the Mediterranean happened to us. For taking Cyprus. Now we'll rebase you guys right there. What I'm afraid of is that the, the American Navy is going to be able to take out my... My ships there. Uh, rebase. Because these guys got shot to hell trying that. Level 10 base, move them there. I think my... Why are my bombers damaged? Can they make it out here? No. Ah, uh, they're still upgrading. Little revolt. No problem. I really do wish the... the ally, like, they're clearly going around all these units to get to various places. They're not actually tr uh, not actually trying to help at all, which is annoying. I don't know if I'll be able to actually do anything here. Well, I guess we'll just try to ignore the border war for now. And look for look to see if Japan's doing anything else. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not uh, like it's not like the Americans are going to be able to do anything. They can't get over to me, so I'm safe where I am, and they're kind of safe where they are for now. I mean, my ship, my ships are safe from convoy raids. 
It looks like they're not getting any supplies in here to me. I, you know, then that's at max. That's a level 33 airbase in the Azores. Fuck you guys. I was like, that's max level 10, level 30 fucking 3. Yeah, they're, they're going around all the American stuff. Can I keep telling them that I want to acquire territory? Will it just give me that those that those areas? I mean, they've already fallen. Poor Afghanistan overran all that land and then went to me. All right, where's my fleet? There we go. Commerce, defense. All right, so we're bringing these guys back over. Or we, what we could do is just head up towards the... Where we can, we can uh, skip up this way. There's American, Latvian, and what's the cross? Denmark? Is that Denmark? Well, Denmark doesn't exist anymore, so... Well, not over here, at least. I mean, that's a lot of units there. You think we could do it? It doesn't look like a lot of important units, though. Might be able to take Iceland pretty easily. Why don't we? Why don't we try that first? That seems safer. So let's go up to Scapa Flow, rebase to Scapa Flow. Hmm. Now, what are the speed of these guys? Speed of 26. Are those the slowest ones we have, really? And they are slow, too. Well, let's, uh, let's create a new fleet here. Bismarck. Well, you know what? You shouldn't mix battleships and carriers. So let's make a little a mini carrier air, uh, little carrier fleet here. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four... Five, six. Well, let's do four anti-aircraft. Uh, eh, come on, click. God damn it! There we go. Two lights and two destroyers. Is that gonna ha give me a good position? And there's no positioning penalty. All right. Now, if we had, if we set him to patrol out here, I wonder how they would do. I mean, my fleet is small, for now. I mean, five heavy cruisers are coming up. Two new aircraft carriers will be done at the beginning of the new year. Um, battleships will be done in June. And then these ones will be done towards the end of the year, CVC. Four more CVs. I'm looking for something specific right now, these guys. What kind of range do they have? Will it tell me on here? Speed... Well, it doesn't look like it's going to stand on there, but it's easy to find over here. Jet fighters have a range of uh, 1,300 kilometers and 1,200 kilometers for the fighters. So let's see if we base them here. Can they get over there? No. We'd have to base them in Spain or... Oh, we could base them probably here. Yeah. And they can get, to Co they can get there. So if we rebase them to Casablanca... Rebase them down here, and then we can try to use the jet bombers, escorted by the jet fighters, to hit the Americans there. I don't know how well they do. Uh, I really just hope the Japanese can overrun Burma. Uh, ooh, the Japanese would like to purchase uh, some... the rights to build up some... what's it called? Some jet fighters. Nice. I'm, I'm on board with that. Just try to ignore the border gore. I'm about to say, who is here? It's just uh, it's a Spanish battleship and 20 destroyers. Let's do uh, let's do one, two, two and three bombers. Let's see how these guys do over here. I know their organizations. They don't have the range. I just checked it.
It says it says like 1,100 kilometers. Should have the range. Jet Bomber 5. Oh, it's hideous over here. Just try to ignore it. Try to ignore it. It's not a big deal. Maybe the bombers by themselves can make it over there? But the bombers have... The fighters can make it over here. No. What the hell is going on here? Color me confused. Also, the game's getting chuggy. Let's take five. I mean, the fighters had. Which had. Who had. The fighters had a longer range. And it. They can't get out here, really. I'm really surprised. The game's starting to really slow down on me. So we are going to give it another quick save. I'm seriously just trying to ignore the the Indian theater and all those, you know, subsidiary troops rampaging around and causing border gore. Uh, frankly, I'd like the, the AI to take care of it, but I can't trust it to do that. Yeah, see how long the save is taking? That's kind of like an indication that the game is running out of memory. Alright, there we go. How do you guys not have supplies? Your fleet. You take them with you. We'll just let those guys hang out down there and see what happens. None of these guys are getting supplies anymore. We should probably... What we could do is... Um, oh, when the Navy gets back, we can start moving people around a little bit. And it's just... You know, there's too, they're, they're too far away. There's not enough. Yeah, look. They're actually starting to suffer, too. Let's actually grab this whole army. If it, the game doesn't crash when I try to do that. Oh, we have a whole Panzer army, too, right there. Oh, fuck me. Um, yeah, the game doesn't doesn't like me trying to do a bunch of stuff all at once like this. Yeah, these guys are definitely suffering. Um, we gotta get them out of France, basically. So let's move them over here. Uh, these are my siege guns. We'll try to move those out as well if we can. If we can. All right, the game's getting super slow on me, so I think we might call it an episode here. Uh, so far, actually, let me let me check real quick. This is what the current straw poll says for uh, for for the next series. Minor nations leading at fifty nine votes, and Soviet Union. Uh, in the or trailing just by three votes at the moment Italy trailing by a couple couple but no it looks like Japan United Kingdom the United States are pretty much out of the out of the running by now but minor nations Soviet Union and Italy is in the whole is is ahead right now I know this is a couple days uh, after the, the poll went up because of the nature of recording and whatnot but just want to let you guys know what's going on with me right now so if you have enjoyed this episode everybody just drop me a like leaving those comments right down below and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys next time.